Welding. Welding a bit. This was a bolt. Made a little stubby. It's freaking hot. Welded a shim to it. Let's let's go over to the tractor. It's supposed to be here. Welded here. Then this will be lifted to her. This I got welded. And I think this is about half inch too high. I can use it like this, but I really don't want to, so I'm gonna cut it and let it down half an inch. So this gap, you see, it goes up. I want it lower. Yes, but it's getting there. These bolts are in just for motorized everything. Keeps nagging me about the zip ties. So I had to bolt them. Still a zip tie on this side. I think it will be like this. A lot of plastic spacers. It's plastic, but it's strong. These are the last that will go from here up to there. Then the steering is complete. And then I can move it a half an inch forward and then weld it. I can weld all this shit. Finally got to grind down the front letters also. So yeah, it is getting there slowly but steadily. A lot of work, all the tiny stuff. And it's been a long time since I could hear the opposed also. It will be good to hear it running again and brumming again. It's cold outside, uh, stormy, so it's nice to be able to uh, be inside in the hot. This is a vulcanizer machine. Makes rubber O-rings, joining them without glue. This is just a knife cutter. This is a uh, inner or oh, outer diameter steel cutter. Cut small notches. This machine makes exhaust gaskets and big gar gaskets of steel and uh, pure graphite. Same as you, you can find in your pencil. Thin strips of metal and uh, steel. Yeah, short workshop tour. This is the welder table and gluing station. Here is pure graphite sheets. That's the trash. 
some pieces of metal from the chain dog. So yeah, waiting for this to cool down. I'm gonna drop it in a bin of cold water so it quenches. Yeah, but that's it for this update. So uh, see you later, guys. Bye bye.